twenty to get into Cyrodiil? I speak with Legion. This border is a restricted entry zone. State your intentions. You and hundreds of others. But I'm not authorized to let just anyone through. Border's locked down. That's that. No two ways about it. No arguing about it either. Those are the rules. You'll either need official papers or some other justification for your passage. No. If I'd heard of you and you'd completed some great deed, I'd be able to justify writing the paperwork and putting my rank on the line. As it stands, I haven't heard of you. And I'm not risking my livelihood for some traveler I've never met. Sorry. You think I make the decisions? I may be a legionnaire, but I'm just a grunt compared to the powers that be in the capital. Not that it takes a synod mage to work it out. Skyrim's in the midst of strife, the Empire's still reeling from the war. It doesn't take a genius to realize the Empire wouldn't want any of that chaos spilling over into its heartland. My legs ache. Be warned, he's not the most patient man. Someone else wanting to get into Cyrodiil? This border is a restricted entry zone. State your intentions. You and hundreds of others. But I'm not authorized to let just anyone through. Order's locked down. That's that. No two ways about it. No arguing about it either. Those are the rules. You'll either need official papers or some other justification for your passage. The Dragonborn of Legend! You have the dragon blood coursing through your veins! Who am I to stand in your way? Pass through, mighty Dragonborn. It is an honor. Understood. Just hold on one moment. Letting someone as distinguished as you through this gate... <laughs> ...makes a change from all the frustrated traitors and irate mercenaries. It's been a pleasure. Truly. Here's hoping you can do Cyrodiil some good. I'd advise you make your way down to Bruma. I hear they're dealing with a lot of problems down there. The heartland of Tamriel. She's ailing. Maybe beyond saving. But I'm sure you'll take a fair crack at it all the same. Welcome to Cyrodiil. Can I help you? I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. The Chapel of St. Mark terms of the White Gold Concordant. There is no Talos worship going on here. It violates the spirit of the White Gold Concordant. I must urge you to cease and desist at once. Oh? What is the spirit of the White Gold Concordant? The spirit of the White Gold Concordant is that men are not and can never be gods. Just as Tiber Septim is not a god, nor is Martin Septim. But what does the Concordat actually say? The Concordat forbids Talos worship. No mention of Martin Septim worship, though? I... No, there isn't. I must consult with my superiors. 
Perhaps we will have to petition for a slight amendment to some unfortunately specific wording within the Concordat. We will keep our eyes on your little cult, however. Since it's mourned us, it's time for another warning to all the wonderful citizens of Bruma. Citizens of Bruma, I stand here to remind you of the White Gold Concordat. It's decreed Within the walls, we'll keep you safe. Outside, watch your own imperative. back. Talos worship is a crime, and those committing such heresy will be dealt with swiftly and with great prejudice. Let none what is it? Dingy squad filled with criminals, rats, and lice. The amount of underhanded deals and crooked business that goes on there, it beggars belief. I wanted the proprietor to land in hot water with our dear guard captain. He deserves it, no? Say, you should help me because the tavern is filled with criminals. They deal with bandits. They steal, they rob. Surely it's only right that they face justice for what they do. Excellent. As it so happens, I'm a mage by trade. I have access to many magical items from my home of Alinor. Take this. It's a very special memory gem. I have one active at all times, and this particular one recorded everything that happened in the tavern that night. Take it, and let the guard captain listen to it. Irrefutable evidence! What can I get you? Ancient Nordic ornaments, weapons, armor, you name it, I have it. Bale Woods Scholar Streaming anew into Sinner! Oh. Renard, you're distressing the customers. Distressing? I am distressing the customers! That's what I just said, yes. You are... you... you dare! How dare you! I am outraged! You hired me to play songs in this bar that is so far below my standards, and now you proclaim my music as distressful! I'm done with you, standards! And I'm done with this shoddy excuse for a tavern! I'm off for the restful watchman, your top competition! How about that, huh? And you... you... Talentless, tasteless fiends! How dare you insult my music? Could you do better? No, you couldn't. Because I was trained at the Bots College in Solitude, and I'm the foremost practitioner of the art of song since Faulkner himself. You are nothing more than jealous maggots, grasping your waist to insult me and belittle my talent. And to that, I say, Good day! Oh, look! The hat! The hat! Come, warm yourself by the hearth. I heard the city guard are trying to crack down on smuggling. Been too many illicit goods making their way to Skyrim from here. Empire doesn't like it one bit. As it happens, yes, I do. I need the shipping request delivered to Greenwood, my regular- I'm no Nord, but I'll keep drinking mead until I become one. What a day to be alive. Doesn't that cold mountain air just get your blood pumping? Heard there were ogres around. Be careful, traveler. Citizen?
And so, Skyrim's new favorite folk hero chooses to grace us with their presence. A Joker, too. Wonderful. Yet another troublemaker for us to keep an eye on. At least if your attempts at sardonicism weren't quite so... posturing. Many before you have thought themselves invincible. Above the Thalmor, above the Dominion, above their precious empire and its laws, its concordats. They now find themselves hanging from trees, their decrepit husks wasting away amidst near-endless blizzard. Enjoy your stay in this fair city. Bye. Oh look, an infant. How quaint. Oh, but we practically do. I presume even one such as yourself is aware of the White Gold Concordat, yes? That document guarantees the Thalmor the end of worship of that miserable little man-god the Nord so loved to falsely revere, Talos. We need to ensure that this agreement is upheld. Surely the better question would be why so patient? Because I can tell you in no uncertain terms that you are... None of you... I suppose there's no harm in telling you now. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to help. I'm a mercenary. Been one for years now, and I don't often fail a job. But this last time, I did fail, but not through any fault of my own. Well, I suppose I could, yeah. You'll need to know more about the job first, though. I'd been hired by some anonymous noble to clear out a cave full of bandits near Bruma. Offer some nice coin, too. My wife came with me. We we're battle partners. Things were going well until we were ambushed. Bandit reinforcements showed up out of nowhere, flanking us the way we came. They bounced. What is me. it? Shoo! I've given you a task. Unless you think you've found the culprit. I've got rooms, I've got food, and drinks, and a thousand elven ladies under my belt. <laughs> then go over to the Gerald View if it suits you better. Me, I think this inn has more character than Mr. Stantis Fancy Pants's little establishment. Seems to me you're starting trouble asking questions like that. This is a fine establishment. We don't pretend to be more than we are, though. Now, what can I get you? A Lamu Nethre, dark elf girl. She's wanting adventurers to help her with something. Not sure what. My dad is Albecius. What's your name? Huh? I don't like it. It's better than in a place like Bravel, sure, but I miss the Imperial City. That and my dad. I want to see things, but he never lets me too far out of his sight, or the sight of the guards. I want to see the forests and the ogres and the minotaurs and the trolls for myself, not through the window of some carriage with my dad. My dog... Scruffy is missing. He's been gone for days and I'm, I'm worried about him. Scruffy and I were playing by the North Gate. Dad called me for dinner and it was only late. Maybe that means- Aw, oh, but Dad won't let me out into the wilderness though. Would you mind looking for Scruffy? Yes! Come back to me with Scruffy, please, stranger! Stranger, have you seen my dad? Dad's a soldier in the Legion. He's always off with them, serving at some fort up in the mountains. He's big and tall with yellow hair. 
Yeah. Grandpa told me it's a soldier's duty and that I should be proud of him. At home, I think. We all live in the big house across from the wizards. Celis Prelius. Mommy says it's a strong imperial name, but I like my name better. It means I have a strong heart. Mommy must like it better too, because she uses it even though it makes Grandpa mad. She works at the Duralview Inn. I don't think she likes it there, but she says she has to make ends meet. Whatever that means. Who's end, and why does he need meat in the first place? Licinia Ironheart. She told me that she used to be called Licinia Prelius, but then she married Dad. I have. send you my way. Forget I said that. No. I haven't heard from him in months. Not since he was called to arms. Hmm? See you Good afternoon. See you. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Nordic heritage, Nordic culture, Nordic memoir. Can I help you? Sorry, but we're not looking for new members right now. The Nibbanese branch is currently undergoing strict internal reforms. Check back soon, though. It's not something I can discuss with someone outside of the guild. We're trying to increase public awareness, make sure people know who to come to if they want their contracts completed. But we'll need to step up our presence if that's to happen. Here, take these posters. Put them up in prominent positions around Bruma. Once you've got them all up, return to me, and I'll have some coin waiting for you. Hmm? I lead this hall. It's my task to make sure it's up to the standards set by Master Goltinius and Champion Cyrus. It's also my responsibility to try and control Aranir and Ionala. A monumental calling, believe me. I like to train myself and others in the use of two-handed weaponry. I find conditioning my body to be therapeutic. I must be strong for the time when my skills are needed the most. The art of the duelist is an art of burgeoning possibility. For success, and for failure. Learn from me? That's a good question. One I don't hear often enough from the other members in our hall. The fighter- Ifra's bones, what in oblivion do you want? You used to be part of a mercenary company down in Valenwood. We were good. One of the best and most feared companies in all the provinces. Name Sayanala. I and Of course. But knowledge is a commodity like any other. And my services come at a cost. This is the city of my ancestors. My family has been here for generations. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I offer archery training. For a price. 
to any who wish to learn and fight for coin and glory. afternoon. See you. Indeed, this is odd. And you say it just appeared here out of thin air? It isn't mine, that's for sure. Where do you think it came from? What is with this commotion? Where did that come from? Who made this mess? That's the thing. We don't know. It just appeared out of thin air. Maybe that stranger over there has something to do with it. You then, come here. You then. Come here. Don't play ignorant with me. You are involved in this somehow. I mean, really. You expect me to believe that you just happened to randomly walk in just as this statue appeared here? Really? You genuinely have no idea what I'm talking about? Hmm. You may be telling the truth. Or you may not be. I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. Well then, I apologize for the inconvenience. Welcome to the Bruma Synod Conclave. Attendant, clean up this mess, would you? And take that statue to the back for examination. Uh, yes, first adjunct. I'm Roland Wickert. Uh, hello? Oh, I'm sorry. I could have... Exactly have the time for trifles such as this. You seem like a helpful fellow. Would you be willing to help discover the source of this mysterious object? If so, let me know. I could use someone of strong wit and not merely strong arm. Hmm? Join the Synod. Hmm. Not right now, citizen. I am afraid we don't have much of an opening in our ranks at the moment. Perhaps check back at a later date? As you noticed when walking in, a couple of seemingly random items have been appearing in the Conclave of late, and I'm not quite sure as to why. Given that, as you can no doubt imagine, the Conclave is very busy, I am willing to hire external agents to look into this. After the first item appeared, I had one of the attendants, Attendant Wickart, take it back to the study area for examination. Check with him and see if he has discovered anything. What is it? Anything unusual? Uh, well, it's hard to tell to be honest. I'm not exactly the most experienced mage in this area, but... But... I did notice that it looks an awful lot like an alien design. Haven't you seen the massive statues by the entrances of their ruins? I also know that alien statues this portable and small would be very valuable, and therefore would probably all have been scavenged from the ruins. My theory? I think someone sent it here as a test. Someone who has access to valuable artifacts such as this, that they plan to come get it back. I think someone is going to try teleporting here using this- Save yourself! What is it? What can I get you? Oh, that girl. I hope she hasn't been too much trouble. Yes, yeah, she's mine in Heron's. 
Well, used to be at any rate. Recently, she's just been mine. He was stationed at Fort Pale Pass, but we haven't heard anything for months. None of the soldiers passing through here on leave have seen him either. I've sent letter after letter, but they still haven't told me anything. I have no idea where he is, what happened to him, or if he's even still alive. The Imperial Fort placed right on the border to Skyrim. Mostly waters for illegal border crossing. Yes, many times. I've sent letter after letter, but heard nothing. I can send as many letters as I want, but if Heron isn't even at the fort, then he's hardly going to see them, is he? You would? I'd be indebted to you if you did, stranger. Like I said, he is... was... garrisoned up at Fort Pale Pass. It's right on the border to Skyrim. Hello. Goblins around? Pri oh, well, this should be interesting. Go ahead. Let's listen. What's that snot brained Altmer doing here? This is no place for one of them. He's still not the right type for our little den. Might bring the wrong kind of attention. So, what do we do? Stabbing him would be. excessive, so. I know. Why don't we treat him to a little show of our favorite lusty Argonian maid? Perfect. Let's go fetch her. Here, take this coin. I'd like to buy a little show for my Altmer friend over there. Sure thing. Oh, one other thing. He wanted you to roleplay as Lifser Tail, you know, from... Ha! <laughs> Altmer. Always the same fantasy. Sure thing. Hey, darling. I heard you wanted a date with Lifser Tail. What is the meaning of this? Lifts her tail? What a ridiculous name for an even more ridiculous- Oh my! Xarxas's breath! What an oblivion are you doing? I demand that you put that back on! Ariel, give me strength! Cease and desist! I demand that you cease and desist at once, you cretinous lizard woman! Stop jiggling about! I can't take this anymore! I think I'm going to yeah, faint! I think- Ah! Oh. Ha! <laughs> it worked! Otis, you really are a genius. Heh, <laughs> I know. Sop didn't even know what hit him. Ha! <laughs> they breed them special in Alinor, don't they? Well, that's certainly very... interesting. But I'm not sure that there's much in there that I can take action on. Tell our... Altmer friend that I'm very sorry. Hold. This is the prison wing of Fort Pale Pass. If you want to get in, I'm the one to grant you access. But I can only grant that access with the authorization of our commander, Legate Priscilius Varro. Let me take a look at that. Hmm, seems authentic. Yeah, that's the Legate's hand, all right. Okay. Head on in, I'll unlock the door. Do whatever you have to do. Oh, I should warn you. Once you head in there, we're putting the fort on high alert. Locking the doors. Just a heads up. This prisoner's been known to get a little... irate during questioning. Don't want him making a break for the exit door. Oh. Right, doors open. Good luck in there. Gods know you'll need it.
are you? You are not one of these damned Imperial soldiers. Are you here to rescue me? Oh! Oh! A true son of Skyrim! My heart gladdens to see you in this hive of Imperial bootlickers! Because Skyrim is suffering under the Empire's yoke! We're not even allowed to worship our own damned gods! You wouldn't understand. You're an Imperial dog. A toady for the Thalmor. But we deserve freedom! And to truly achieve freedom, we need to end the Empire. Strike at its heart. Cyrodiil, the Imperial city. And the rest will crumble. Talos, here comes the damn jailer. Just what I needed. Someone else to rub salt in the wound. I see your interrogation's going well. Better than any of the other sops that I've tried, at any rate. Bloody jailer. Come to gawk at the poor, helpless Stormcloak. You'll pay, damned Imperial! You'll all pay! <laughs> you say that every day. Still haven't found a way to break through those bars, though. You've gotten the basics out of him, but the Legate needs to know everything we can possibly extract. So... Well, best not let the prisoner hear our little chat. Follow me. You an investigator? Haran was a tough soldier and a loyal friend. I don't know what could have taken him down. Sorry. We needed to get away from prying ears. Last thing we need is to let the prisoner in on our techniques. Now we know the guy's plot. Heard it straight from the horse's mouth. But we need to know more. This time you need to take on a few different lines of attack. Find out who sent him, if he came with anyone else, and where they may be. And try not to lose track of time. The Pentatus Oculatus will be here soon, and the Legate wants us to get the information out of him, not them. Good luck. See you around.